All right, it's day 10 here on the island underneath the Casarina Sheoaks, and I thought it might be time to uh, share a bit of our camping setup. So we'll start with the um, camp kitchen. So for a roof, we've used a length of bamboo there and we've lashed it to each tree. Then we run back to some pegs and tying off at the tree and so forth. Uh, this is our little camp kitchen that we made the other day from all the stuff that we collected from that beach on the south side of the island. We've got a uh, tripod here, tripod here, uh, there's a plank of wood, that's for our shelving. And then this is a working bench for our gas cookers and stuff like that. One thing to note is this uh, hammock, which is holding all of our veggies. Uh, we've got some cabbage, a uh, couple of pumpkins, potatoes, and over here we've got a few lemons, oranges, onions, bits and pieces. These, uh, these cabbages, these are a great addition to the, uh, to the pantry. They'll keep for anywhere from two to three weeks. So, uh, down there, that's what got us in trouble the other night. It's a couple of cases of beer, missing one, of course. And we've still got a bottle of mead. So the mead, I actually make it for my own bees um, that I've got at home, I've got a couple of hives, and it's made from just honey, water, and a bit of yeast. 60 litre esky, another 60 litre esky. This one's got no ice left in it. This one's still got a bit of ice. That's doing pretty well considering it's uh, it's been close to 10 days. Well, it has been 10 days. A couple of boxes here. It's got all of our flour, toilet paper, bits and pieces. <laughs> That's our washing up bin. Save that one for later, eh? <laughs> and over here is the outdoor cinema. Hey, not a bad view. And then you'll see just over here, this is our solar panel charging a PowerTech power bank, which seems to be doing just the, just the trick. Able to charge my drone, my GoPro, um, everything that I need out here to make these videos. That's my solar panel. Over the back here, I've got a couple more tripods with some timbers that have been lashed. Uh, all, this, all this timber we've salvaged off the beach. Um, yeah, so tripod here, tripod here. It's got our spear guns, flippers, everything that we need on the island. A few fishing rods there. Haven't really used the fishing rods yet, but we'll get into that. So this is my uh, tent, which I've actually slept in the first couple of nights. And then I actually switched to the hammock, uh, finding it much more enjoyable. Although last night got a little bit chilly. And then over here, this is the Campbell clan. Uh, they're on a bit of a walk at the moment, but this is their tent that they've uh, both sleep, been sleeping in. And then over there, that's Neil's hammock. And that is Hamish's hammock. So, you probably notice this, uh, this rain floor here. This only went up this morning. We had a bit of, bit of rain come through. That's just protecting from the south. And then we've got clothesline. Clothesline leading over to uh, my little hammock setup. So I've also got a rain fly there that keeps everything dry. Been pretty lucky this trip, haven't had any rain at all. So a bit of a bit of a drizzle this morning, but that's all right. And then we've got some uh, camera gear and stuff over there. And this esky here helps me get up onto my hammock just using a, a plus five sleeping bag with an inner liner. Seems to be working the treat. And then got all my toiletries up here. A uh, little little light, a couple of head torches. And uh, yeah, the other day, so I made this little platform, the boys, the boys laughed at me. <laughs> so that's just something to stand on while I'm having a having a towel bath. I just use this little little towel. And uh, it's one of the luxuries that we do actually have here on the island. And so we had to use probably, I don't know, little bit over a litre a day and uh, that keeps us all nice and clean. We are spending most of the days in the salt water so we're generally we're pretty clean. It's just nice to freshen up and, and get the salt off you. Anyway, that's our, that's our camping setup. Very basic, very simple. Yesterday we had some really great weather. Sun was out, some light northeast winds and then this morning we had a southerly change come through brought the clouds and a little bit of drizzle with it. So obviously that's gone now, sun's out, 
It's another glorious day, although it's blowing quite strong from the south. We're going to sit today out of the water, uh, but what we have done is we've just come in back into the mangroves just to check a couple of pots that we put down yesterday. Uh, Hamish come down this morning in the early hours. He was pretty excited. And uh, one of the two pots actually had a couple of crabs in it. As you can see, both these crabs are Jennies. They got like a half circle. And uh, they're both gonna go back to breed, make some future mud crabs. We actually used the fish frames from yesterday's speared fish to bait the pots. Uh, we have to rebait the couple of pots that we've got. Um, all the bait's gone and one of the pots is actually all damaged. I uh, believe it's probably from a little shark has gone into the pot or the crab may have chewed his way out. I'm not too sure. I'm on a bit of a mission at the moment. I'm in search for a colony of bats that lives on this island. We've seen them every night. I'm all hooked up. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, I just want to want to get a close look at them. I've got the drone on the back, so hopefully I can get a bit of footage. So I got a little sidetracked. I was just on my way over to the bats, and I came across this uh, chili bush, and it is the most healthiest chili bush that I've seen on the whole island. So I might just grab a couple. So I found the bats, they're in there. I've just put the drone up. I've just, uh, I've just located them. I'm about to go in. Wish me luck. Holy shit. Wow, man, man. I just left those bats alone. They were getting pretty noisy and didn't really like me being there, so left them alone. I thought I'd head up this way to this cliff top, get a bird's eye view before I head back. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? All of the noise turned into choirs of harmony. Left me with the pieces of forever that you broke. But since you left me alone, I've been high. Just got waking up this morning by an eel with a, with a coffee and uh, we've decided to go and check the crab traps nice and early. It's blowing an absolute gale force right now, it's probably about 40 knots. Well, we'll go and check these, uh, these crab pots and uh, try not to get blown away. So it looks like we've got about a week's worth of uh, really crap weather. So uh, we're pretty much stuck on the island until it clears. Anyway, we've still got about 40 litres of water left. So that should see us through for the rest of the trip. It's a bit of a race with the tide. The tide's on its way in.
Uh, once again, the sharks have managed to destroy our pots. Damn things. What do we got happening here? We got crabs. Ooh. That's a kite. <laughs> oh, he's a big guy, isn't he? Huh? That is a good sized crab, eh? You want to kiss him, Amish? Crab kiss, eh? So you notice the blue colorations. That's from uh, coming out of a, that's an island crab. It's coming out of the sandy conditions as opposed to the, the brown ones which come out of the swamps. It's still day 11. Um, this morning we got a really nice male mud crab. And then after that we've been pretty pretty lazy in the hammocks for most of the day. It's absolutely blowing a gale on the outer reef in excess of 30 to 40 knots. There's no chance of diving out there so we've trekked across the, uh, the reef flat and we found this little lagoon which we're going to jump in. Um, let's see what we can find. It's nice to get in the water today, but it's also nice to get out. It's bloody freezing at the moment, and uh, just heading back to camp to uh, warm up and uh, hopefully cook up uh, some of that cold trout from the other day, as well as that mud crab that we caught this morning. We also managed to uh, get a couple of small fish today as well, so probably cook those up as well. And then we should also have some bit of crab pot bait uh, left over. And uh, actually on the way on the way back I discovered a shipwreck which I might go and have a look at tomorrow, have a closer look at that and also found an eagle's nest. Anyway, I'll keep walking and uh, get back to camp. Alright, so it's dinner time and it's time for me to cook for the boys. It's my night tonight. So we're going to have uh, poached coconut cream fish. So I put in the red onion and a good quality coconut cream. And then drop in your fish. It's best to leave the fish uh, whole when you're doing this. I've tried cutting it up and it actually all breaks up and becomes a little bit mushy. And then we're gonna do a dash of turmeric. Also gonna add some chili to the mix.
sip on a white marlin. <coughs> you dying over there, Neil? Uh, not quite yet, mate. Oh, yeah? Still, still kicking? Sauce. Done. 